Welcome back my YouTube family, I hope you are well, tis me G4, we're back in Ghost Recon, more tips and tricks, and today's video we're going to concentrate on improving your accuracy, I've got a few things to share with you, hopefully it will help your gameplay, let's do it! <laughs> Having the correct weapon in this game is absolutely key um, for you to be super accurate in in the um, in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The problem is there are so many terrific weapons in this game, and so um, it's hard to kind of figure out what to choose and what to look for. So we're going to guide you through that today, but. Um, you really do need to have an, a weapon that has a good base foundation before we start throwing um, any kind of attachments on, on them. Um, and we're going to show you uh, kind of what to look at for in the gun stats that will help you determine what's going to be for you. Now, at the very start of the game, I would encourage you to have a very, very accurate weapon. And then once you're comfortable with the weapons, and you're comfortable with some of the tips we're going to give you, you can experiment and play around. I'm still finding weapons now that are actually absolutely fantastic to play around with and that I haven't used, and you're seeing one on screen here, the ASR416, and you're, we're going to use that as an example to guide you through the kind of information that you need to look at um, to make sure that you have got a super accurate gun. Okay, so I've given you two guns to look at here. We have the ASR416 and the Scorpion Evo CQB. Um, both great guns in the game, but they handle completely different. And so if you're trying to improve your accuracy or you're at least trying to learn a little bit of gun skill and get comfortable with the game, I would suggest that you're looking for uh, stats that are very similar to the 416 there. Now, there's two things that I think you need to pay attention to at the gate. Number one is how far to the right your accuracy bar is. The further it is to the right, the more accurate it's going to be. You can see there's fairly distinct uh, differences between the 416 and the Scorpion in that department. And the second thing is the recoil bar, the final one on the bottom there. Now, the recoil bar, the further across it is to the right, as you can see with the Scorpion, the more recoil you're going to get out of the gun. So you want that bar as low as possible, the recoil bar as low as possible, and the accuracy bar as high as possible. If you follow that kind of guide, then you should get a pinpoint super accurate gun um, that will help a lot. Now, obviously there's a whole lot of other things that we're going to talk about today, but those are the two things when you're looking for a gun um, that is accurate, regardless whether it's an assault rifle, an SMG, uh, tactical rifle, whatever it might be, whatever class it is, try and find that um, happy medium between the accuracy and the recoil. Now there's one more thing I want you to pay attention to um, on this little kind of graph here with the ASR416 and that is right at the bottom in that bottom right hand corner. You can see there's a, a kind of little single bullet there and then there's a whole lot of other bullets in the second little thing, the little kind of green um, icon. That is going to be super important and we're going to explain why in a bit but um, probably if you can, if you can find a weapon that has that single bullet icon on it, I would suggest it's in very important to help you be super accurate. So once you've selected your weapon, learning how that weapon actually uh, works is a very key thing to do and especially learning how the recoil works on your weapon. Because until you understand how the weapon handles and how the recoil works, you're not going to be able to make the compensations you need. Hi Ash, how you doing? Um, to be able to make the weapon accurate. So I'm going to show you here. We have the we have two four one sixes now. The second four one six I have I have actually taken all the good stuff off it. So I have no um, I have no compensation in my uh, attachments at all. Now, 
The other thing that I should point out as well is you're going to get very as you get more and more into the game, you're going to get variants of the, of the same weapon. So you can see that 416 has 30% accuracy, 10% low, uh, reload speed, whereas my base one has 30% better handling and 30% better accuracy. So that's going to help a lot, but as you can see, the base kind of stats don't change. So the accuracy and the recoil are pretty much the same. So we're going to we're going to select this um, this here, and we're going to do some recoil testing um, and see how it performs. And it's very important that you do this early so that you can understand what you've got to put on this. What I suggest is you just find a wall and just hit and shoot the gun up against the wall like I'm doing now and just see where the recoil goes. So you can see the recoil on this gun goes up and to the right. Now, even when you aim down sight, you can see, even though that's quite a, a tight grouping, you're actually getting a lot of vertical recoil. There isn't a lot of um, horizontal recoil on, the, on this gun. So that's good, because that means that the attachments that you're going to use are going to be around a vertical recoil tr uh, sort of um, sort of thought pattern. So let's start adding um, vertical recoil adjustment to this weapon and just see how that um, affects it. So I've all, I always use the short barrel these days. Um, this is I'll show you what my typical setup is, and you'll see how much of a dif difference it does. Hip fire recoil. Um, it, it, it doesn't specify whether that's vertical or horizontal, um, but the PEQ-15 I've been using lately and it does make a huge difference. With the stocks, again, do the best you can. Get the best uh, vertical recoil um, compensation you can. Horizontal recoil is not a, a factor here, um, and there's lots of these to... to um, to choose from so it looks like five percent is the best we're going to get and also with the under rail just see if you can bump that a little bit more and um, without losing too much so it's always a balance with these um with these grips i'm going to go for the afg2 angled full grip because even though i get reload speed penalty i don't get any horizontal recoil penalty so here we go now Let's fire that up against the wall again and just see what it does. And you can see that's a huge difference. That is the first one there to the left. That is the second in just hip firing. And if you aim in, look at that. You can see those ones going up the wall. There is a lot more control there. So understanding your recoil and then adjusting your attachments to suit that recoil is a huge step forward. Now, we did talk about uh, the little single bullet icon on the stats. Now, when you aim into your gun, you will see um, there on the above the D-pad there, there's a couple of things that you can do with this gun. The main one is the, the up arrow there. And you can see you can change the fire rate. Now, the fire rate, single fire rate, is something I've been doing recently. And this makes a huge difference to the accuracy of your gun. Because you can do this. And you can see how accurate that is. Look at the grouping. It, it, it means that it reduces the recoil down quite a bit now. We'll aim in and give you an idea how. Look at that. Look how accurate and on point you are. Now, you would have seen in the footage earlier, and we'll run footage now, but you've seen the, the footage. This actually works to your advantage because what this does is as you're hitting a target, the recoil pushes up into your right still, but if you aim into the right spot on the, uh, the enemy body, it actually gives you a headshot. And headshots in this game are the key to killing enemies. If you can get on point with a headshot, um, then you're going to drop enemies in one shot or one burst.
Now there's one last thing you can try on your gun, and it might it might be for you a something that just is a game changer for you. Something that I haven't played around with too much, and that is um, the attachment that gives you a different trigger. Um, firing rate so you see you've got on on the 416 a single trigger which is the one i usually use but there's an auto burst trigger so um we're going to equip that now and show you what it does so let's hip fire this and see what it does and you can see it's not too bad now let's aim in and you can see now we our single um single bullet um option is gone but it's been replaced by a three burst so you can change the burst de delay now look how accurate that makes you so this might actually help you a lot too and then when you aim in you can actually get pretty look at that you can stay pretty much on the same spot so just something for you to think about it might be for you it might not um, but again super Super accurate gun by playing around with all the different attachments. There's one more technique that I'd like to show you, and it involves your um, your actual controller. And if you combine both of these techniques, I'm about to show you, it will help your accuracy no end. Not just in this game, but in a, a many other shooter games. So here's my controller here um, on the desk, and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to show you the um, drill that you should use with your left stick now one of the things that you can do now it's hard for me to do when i'm hold, trying to hold the uh, camera at the same time but essentially what you're doing you're aiming in, aimed in with your left trigger shooting with your right and what you need to do is pull down and to the left slightly on your left stick. Now, the 416 recoil is up and to the right. So what this is effectively doing is it's making compensation for the recoil going up to the right by pulling down to the left. Obviously, if your gun was... Um, your recoil was up it was a different recoil partner and you'd have to adjust this but if your gun is up and to the right then pull down slightly you don't want to pull all the way down just slight movements the second technique you need to use will just change hands just quickly and I'll, I'll probably have to flick off my trigger stops on this controller um but Basically, what you would normally do to shoot a gun is you're you're absolutely pumping the right trigger like crazy. My technique is to use what I call feathering, and that's the kind of three press burst. And what this does is it recenters the recoil after every kind of three burst, and try and do it as quickly as you can without you know going going full on. But both of those techniques and combination will help your recoil like you wouldn't believe okay guys that will do for today's video i hope this has been informative and um, will help you of course some of these techniques you're going to have to do a little bit of practice but what better practice than playing ghost recon breakpoint and you might find that these techniques will also help you in other games if you enjoyed the video and it's helped, please leave a comment down below. I love to read your comments and I love to know that we're making a difference with these tips and tricks of videos. A like rating is always appreciated. It helps the channel out a lot more than you might realize. And if you're not subscribed and you want to keep up to date on everything that is Ghost Recon, please hit the red button, ring the bell, make sure the bell is switched on, and we will catch you next time on for XP. See ya!